No, thank you very much. I'm Mr. Matthew from uh, Hot FM. First of all, the the issue of uh, candidature, as far as Patrick Front is concerned, is a matter of what the Zambian people demand. We are not going to engage in semantics of who feels what and feels what. Because if that was the case, we would have just you know, presented President Lungu as it were straight, and we know he can win. But we responded to what the Zambian people said, we don't want spoilers. But the fire must spoil us. So can you begin to mobilize the opposition to come together? That's how come President Lungu has religiously been engaged in talking to all those who have seen the need to work together towards 2026. So therefore, the options and the decisions will be dictated by the Zambian people. And that's how come we are cautioning our friends in Uka and cautioning ourselves that we are let's pay attention to what Zambians are saying. Mm -hmm. This is not about egoism. If you ask me my personal feelings, maybe I'll write two books. But in politics, your feelings don't matter. It's what the Zambians are demanding. So we are just encouraging our friends in Uka, listen to what the Zambians are saying. And when we demand for that, it's not arrogance. It's just at least face reality. What are the Zambians saying? If we, 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 we like, sorry, journalists, I don't want to abuse you. I'm not abusing you. But I just want to address PF members and others. If, if we just did a sample using the journalists who are here, so Edmutwewe, who, who do you want to come back? But I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So this is not a debatable matter of wanting to say who, what are your thoughts, what are your thinking or feelings. It's about what the Zambians are what demanding. That is a position. Mm -hmm. Even President Lungu has been stating, and people want to even misunderstand him. When you ask President Lungu, are you standing? And he says, no, let the Zambian people tell us. Then you start saying, no, he never said he wants to stand. Why is he changing? Ah, ah. He just told you, let the Zambian people do what? Tell us. Mm -hmm. And if the Zambian people's voice is loud enough, who is he? Because the Zambians are tired of UPND, and I can assure you, if you resist their, uh, their demands, they will force that demand of theirs on anyone. Mm -hmm. All right. That's how it is. Human rights. First of all, this UPND government and Misaka in the HLM, I don't know the crop and the cloth to which we are cut. Because they rubbish everyone. They insult everybody. And they are not teachable. We were raising issues in 2021 as PF. We told them the issue of debt and other economic issues. We know what our plan were to dismantle and restructure the debt. The route you have taken of being aligned and departing from being non-aligned will cost you. If we, we came back into government, we would have talked yes to those who have commercial debts with us, but we will quickly go to China because the larger percentage of our debt is with our friends or with our friends in China. And they will be willing to engage us so that we can be able to resolve this issue. Out of arrogance, what did Mr. Haka in the do? He was telling us for the first time in the history of this country, yeah. I went to greet uh, Harris at Kamara Harris in the US. For the first time, I have um, the only one who has met the king. 
Pode correr na minha festa, irmã. Pode decidir. Eu tenho uma festa, irmã. 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 So, this time around, the UN themselves, who they were shielding and telling stories, no, now democracy has come to Zambia, have done their due diligence, have discovered that uh, this country is worse off than when, how it was at the time that we were being oppressed by foreigners. Mm -hmm. And they actually give a report. Instead of studying that report, they insult the UN, they call them liars, they call them all kinds of things. Isn't what they were doing also in Zimbabwe? During the inauguration of Nangagwa, he boycotts. During the handing over of the chairmanship for Sadiq in Zimbabwe, he boycotts. We even hear that those who were sent, soon junior officers, needed to carry water, carry their own food. What kind of message are you delivering? Mm -hmm. He isolates Zambia for the first time in the region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first time. If he should come on, he will. So even his visit to the UN, he's just going to embarrass himself. <laughs> so my brother he's going to the UN to go and just embarrass us because he insulted the organization that advances national I mean global peace and making sure that human rights are respected first of all as PF we are very confident that the same passion and commitment we have to save the Zambian people from this oppressive government to which it require a united opposition front, not a clique of opposition, a united opposition front. And therefore, Ainuka, but are still open to others. We have very much confidence that our friends in Uka also are as open to engaging others and bring them on board as we are. And therefore, it's not a matter of choosing. It's a matter of working with everybody. So we are not cherry picking that no UCA, uh, Tonsa Alliance, against, uh -uh. we are just saying everybody come and we are ready to work with you. And those who don't mean for, who don't mean well for this country will be uncomfortable with such moves. But for us, it's beyond individual interest. It's beyond a narrow partisan interest of PF. We want everybody to come. Not only political parties. We want the church to come. We want civil society to come. We want every grouping that sees that the Zambian people are in pain to come on board so that we can work together and redeem them in 2026. That is our position. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, thank you very much uh, media director, uh, Mr. Fekelo. Uh, good morning, countrymen and women, good morning. members of the press, uh, members of Central Committee that are here, leaders of our great party at all levels, the province, the district and constituencies that are here, supporters and sympathizers of Patriotic Front and all Zambians that are watching us wherever you are catching us from. I have three issues that I'm going to address myself to on behalf of the Patriotic Front. Number one is the issue of us on behalf of the Zambian people demanding for transparency and accurate information on the health and condition and the life of Zambia's Chief Justice, Justice Mumba Marila. As Patriotic Front, 
We are deeply concerned about the life and health condition of our Republican Chief Justice. Justice Mumbamarira was involved in a traffic accident under very strange circumstances a few weeks ago. Following this tragic accident, we saw a scanty, disorganized, and hurried presser by media and information permanent secretary Tavo Kawana and two of his colleagues. And we have also observed the UPND officials laboring so hard to downplay the accident as a minor aratier and, was re and that uh, the Chief Justice was receiving treatment at the time locally. To everyone's shock, we were later informed that the Honorable Chief Justice was evacuated to South Africa because the accident was bad. And this, his condition warranted an urgent need to seek special medical care, which he couldn't access here. The question we have is why is the UPND government so contradictory in their statements over this matter? In one minute, they are saying he is stable and recovering. And the next minute, they are saying his condition has worsened, needing evacuation. Why haven't the police issued a proper and detailed statement to answer questions about the person who caused the accident? What is the condition of the driver who caused the accident? Is this person arrested or in hospital? What are the details around it? Zambians want clear answers on accidents and conditions and the condition of our Chief Justice. Is it true that our Chief Justice may be indisposed for over six months? Is government hiding some important information about the Chief Justice? Is the Ministry of Justice being just and fair to the office and the life of the Chief Justice? What we know is that the Ministry responsible for all lives here in Zambia is the Ministry of Health. But why is the Ministry of Health so mute on the health and condition of our Chief Justice? As PF, we are compelled today to appeal to the family of our Chief Justice to be extremely attentive to the details surrounding their relatives' condition and life circumstances. Because we now believe that there is something more than what the eyes and ears can meet. We are also calling upon our security wings to keep a close eye on this issue and provide the factual information to the public. As citizens, we demand the government to provide a comprehensive statement on the status of Justice Mumba Marila this week. And we demand this week and the status of the one who caused the accident at hand. There's too much speculation around this issue. And the, the fidgeting of government around this issue is challenging. We are getting, you know, allegations that even the executive, at the time that the Chief Justice was admitted at minor soco and eventually evacuated, uh, we all know that the vote that concerns the health of citizens was still a prominent figure in our society and governance system is vested in the Ministry of Health. Why are people suggesting that the funding of the treatment of our Chief Justice has been relegated to ju the judiciary who are fidgeting to try and scrounge around for funds? What has happened? Because everyone that is, is evacuated out of this country is evacuated, funded under the Ministry of Health. 
You, the fourth estate, the media, go and find out who is financing the treatment of the teachers. Why has the standard changed? Why is it that the, we are hearing that possibly the judiciary are the ones that are financing his medication? What has happened? Because the vote for such activities lie with the executive at the Minister of Health. That is raising many questions. The second issue is to deal with our journey towards 2026 as patriotic front in response to the sacred call the Zambian people have placed on patriotic front as well as President Edgar Chagwanungu. The Zambians have already resolved that this oppressive and failed government must go. And the sacred and current uh, current core has been placed on us, patriotic front, and our leader, Dr. Edgar Chagwanungu, that you saved the Zambian people diligently, regardless of the propaganda that was waged against you, which painted the picture and perception that you were violent, you are corrupt, and all these things that people keep on repeating. The Zambian people have gone beyond that propaganda. They now know the truth. They now know who the liar is. The Zambian people have further called on us as patriotic front, which call President Lungu responded when he announced his coming back to active politics, that we need to forge a united front of the opposition to guarantee without any doubt that HH must be removed democratically out of government with the UPND without any doubt. And that call we are responding to read seriously and genuinely. As PF, we are resolved and committed to work with others or other like-minded political parties in our quest to remove the oppressive UPND government in 2026. We believe that in 2026 we need to join hands with other political parties and stakeholders to ensure that President Hichilema is democratically removed and taken where he belongs. He belongs to the farm and not in state house. This is why PF is in the United Quacha Alliance. And I must add, we will continue to be in this alliance. The PF does not have reservations or problems to be in Uka through our party president and other officials that we have deployed to work there. The sixth Republican president has PF and Zambia at heart, which makes him a critical player in Uka on behalf of the party. However, I must hasten, the party is concerned by some Uka members who seem to be abusing and exploiting President Lungu's availability and grace to physically interact with them. As PF, we are sad and horrified by some non-Uka members as well as leaders who have made statements that are deliberately designed to disrespect and malign our leader and sixth Republican president. And also to undermine and discredit him, this we are disturbed with. Non-individuals from non-political parties within UCA have issued voice audios, written statements, either in the, in the names of the alliance partner members or their proxies to discredit undermine, or, and undermine both President Lungu and PF. This certainly is unacceptable. Yes. Behavior in any political marriage. You can't marry a wife and then he, you are busy telling her how uh, bad she is in the eyes of everybody in the community. And then he, you are saying you are my wife. 
even trying to suggest as though I'm doing you a favor for you to be my wife. That's blackmail. If you are in a marriage, there must be mutual respect. I respect your husband, respect your wife. And actor, we have a duty to make sure that you defend one another in the community. There are people who seem to suggest that the challenges that we face within patriotic front, which is, are eternal issues, are a blessing in disguise for them. And we want to tell you, when we came into Uka, we came knowing we have our own issues. Yeah. And we have never transferred the burden to resolve those issues to anybody. Mm -hmm. Those issues, we resolve them ourselves. Yes. And you accept us as the way we are. Yes. So don't repeat it in our face. Mm -hmm. We know how we are going to resolve our internal issues. Yes. Two, when we presented President Lungu as the flag bearer, we never cheated anybody that is not available to run. Mm. We have been very clear. He is our flag bearer and the candidate for 2026 election. Con convince us otherwise if you have any other argument. But for you to start suggesting to us he may be blocked, how is it that you find it comfortable to tell us that he may be blocked? Mm -hmm. As if what Aka in the Ichlema is doing, trying to maneuver to block Edgar Chagalung is legal. Mm -hmm. All those, those man move, maneuvers are illegal. Mm -hmm. President Edgar Chagalungu is eligible to stand in 2026 the same way he was eligible to stand in 2021. And anybody who is wishing and praying and conniving behind the scenes, hoping that they are going to cause people to block President Runga. I can only tell you, you are courting trouble for this country. Amen. If President Rungu is blocked and is, is not eligible, it means that the election of Aka in the is also null and void. He must leave state house. And all decisions that have been made from the time he was sworn in are null and void. All the people he appointed is null and void. All institutions he has established is null and void. All transactions he has undertaken are null and void. So for those of you who are being optimistic and hoping President Lungu is going to be blocked, please, can you shift your argument? Tell us why you think another person is suitable and better than President Ediga Chagwa Lungu. That is the position. Mm -hmm. And we don't want anybody to think that uh, we are being tri tricksters and so on. PF, that's not our ideology. Mm -hmm. Our politics are very clear. Yes. We present everything on the table, deal with it. Yes. And you come and talk to us. Yes. And we'll be able to answer. And please don't get offended by our robust argument. Mm -hmm. Some of us may be robust, but we are reasonable. We can talk to you. We are trained because we were in government for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. We know what diplomatic warfare is all about. Mm -hmm. Face us and we'll be able to tell you. And you also just bring your issues and we'll argue and convince each other. That's what democracy is all about. As PF, like I said, we are sad and horrified by some non members as well as leaders who have been making those statements. Therefore, we want to warn our political partners to desist from issuing statements either directly or indirectly aimed at attacking and undermining the PF president, Dr. Lungu, in, in our party, as our party flag bearer as a party. We have, bra we have a brave responsibility to defend, protect, and preserve him. So when you see us getting agitated, we are looking at his welfare. We know our leader is a very humble man. He's ready to bend backwards in the interest of the nation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you see, God has a way of balancing people. Mm -hmm. So while we have a very humble president who is ready to bend backwards, he has also a very stiff-necked Secretary General yeah. who will be watching over what is going on. Yeah. That's how life is all about. Yeah. So every time people are interacting with the President Lungu, 
my job is not only to carry the binoculars mm. my eyes also pop up to just inspect are we safe here mm. yeah. and if we are not safe we are not shy to say we are not safe here we will not be able to try to this mm. that's the responsibility we have as members led by the sector general and of course many wonderful leaders of the patriotic front I must state that PF believes in UCA and will remain in UCA. Yes. In, like, in the like manner, the PF is open to engage and willing to engage with other political formations that are like mind. And because for us, the Zambian people are looking for a movement of the people. Yes. So we are not going to convert ourselves as PF into a clique of rigid people who think they are superior to others. No, that's not our attitude. Yes. We have already accepted that we need to work with others. Mm -hmm. But neither are we going to be pushed into another clique that is going to be exclusive and not allow others to come on board. Come on board. So as PF we are open to other relationships and alliances we have heard of the zambia we want and indications for them to come on board after they finalize their policy and manifesto uh, so that we can look at policy issues we'll talk with them we have also heard and we have been presented with the, the tonsi alliance the, uh, alliance or movement and the terms of reference have been presented to the sector general we want to respond that we are open to discussions. Yes. We'll look at those terms of reference and examine them. President Lungu in Bemba Latina Nkoko. Ufu Katira Abana. Icha wa Mako Chakutira ba Lungu ba kwa Dama Bele Katushunga Nianga. Kwa di Bele Limo ba Pera Kulifu wa PF Tronkako. So kwa di Bana Imbi Bele ba Pera Kwa Uka na Bele Bele Onkako. Batu Alisha na Nama Bele Katushunga Ni Seven. Bakula Onkako na Wami Abade Abade Isa. Ultimately the Zambian people collectively will be steered towards the deep themselves from this oppressive government <coughs> and since the party has been approached to join this alliance I at the next central committee a task force will be constituted under my office uh, that uh, will be looking at critical issues of revealing and evaluating the core objectives of every alliance and I want to say, this is not child play. And all of us members of Patriotic Front, please, when you are making comments on these matters, don't just make comments, then you start making comments. And maybe you have been in gossiping somewhere you make comments. This is a national agenda. Mm -hmm. Reflect and think through what you are saying, yeah. wherever you are saying. Yeah. Because now we are in a, you know, a technological era. Even a simple whisper in one corner can influence and create a big problem mm -hmm. in another corner. So we must be bigger than all these who are gossiping everywhere and be able to provide leadership. That's why the discussions around alliances and forming government is a discussion around President Lungu and Patriotic Front. The Zambian people have not given up on us. It's a UPND that are hoping they can convince the Zambians to give up on us. So I want just to appeal to all of us that let's be disciplined as we move forward. We shall genuinely participate in progressive alliances that are centered on liberating the Zambian people from the jaws of oppression and diverse suffering of our people under the leadership of Ms. Akainde Chrema. This we are committed to do. However, we shall not do this in a, an organization. We shall do this uh, in an organization, responsible and accountable manner, in the in an organized, responsible and accountable manner in the interest of our nation. Patriotic Front exists for contestation in elections and as such, as a political party, we are willing to subdue our organizational interests so as long as the purpose is in national interest. The last matter is to do with discipline within the party. Let me address my fellow members of Patriotic Front. 
on our part of our party discipline and unity of purpose is a must as your secretary general the principle of unity of purpose is my hallmark patriotic front is the main opposition political party and the alternative government in the country with over 50 members of parliament with structures across the country with a new with a huge following and sympathizers this must be acknowledged there are people who want to you know advance a narrative that our mps in parliament may not be ours in 2026 in pf the good thing is that we are free to differ and we even quarrel sometimes open but our bond is deeper and greater katuishi mutiba turisha basata mwe ero na balungu basalunda kuti twapusana but we are still together we may differ in opinion but we are still together that's why up three years after we lost the election we still remain intact and we want to say we we are a major stakeholders stakeholder in the journey to 2026 as your sector general my duty and main responsibility is to protect defend our institution pf and organize our party to be viable and attractive that's why i was appointed to those of my brothers and sisters who thought I would be compromised on this duty, you will have it difficult to deal with me. Because I'm not going to be swayed by the wind. My focus is PF. My focus is our institution as his interest. My focus is to protect President Edgar Chakarongo. And in protecting him, don't be misled. We will do things sometimes that may not look favorable at the start, but one day you will appreciate. Amen. That's why I'm urging all patriotic front members to follow procedure and lay down rules as enshrined in our party constitution. Yes, we may have to enter into alliances. It's part of democracy. But as an SG, my core duty is to make sure that my party is being safeguarded and the interests of our party are promoted regardless of who we interact with. We can't interact with colleagues. And then we, out of in integrity of heart and commitment to this interaction and relationship, we restrain ourselves from cannibalizing members from these other political parties. But we see the same vigor and venom that we are suffering under UPND who want to dismantle patrol to front. And those who also call themselves our friends who also want to do the same. If you are Ghana. If you are Ghana. Uh, whenever I've traveled as your Secretary General was in Mansa to go and see our colleagues who were incarcerated on Obochitotela and on Obochilangwa. When members of PF came to receive us at the airport, and I was greeting them on the line, one colleague from a sister political party within UCA introduced themselves and said, I have come I'm from this political party. I was quick on the side to tell them, I have not come as a representative of UCA. I don't want us to be misunderstood that we have invited you to participate in internal affairs of UCA. Here is a bit of money. Go. When we come as UCA, you will be welcome so that we can be able to attend to the issues of UCA separate from mixing these things because we can't encourage incest among ourselves. <laughs> I want to thank our party president, our vice president, the central committee, members of parliament, mayors, councillors, the general membership, uh, you know, including independent MPs for the resilience through these troubled waters despite the challenges they are going through for standing firm in defending our party and beyond defending our democracy from collapsing at the hand of this full-blown dictator, Misaka Indechlema. 
We are aware of the schemes of the UPND trying to destroy uh, you know, political parties by sponsoring internal wrangles, but PF were resilient. We have faith in the power of the Zambian people's resolve to deal with the atrocities of the UPND. UPND have tortured the Zambian people and they have continued to torture the minds of PF and sympathizers because of their continued hold on PF's right to participate in, on the political discourse of this country through the Registrar of Society and the ECZ. That will come to an end very soon. As a party, we will defend our elected officials from members of parliament, mayors and councillors who represent our party and to ensure that we retain those seats and more. As your SG, I'm available to progressive engagement on developing and growing our party. As your SG, you have my full protection, members of parliament, mayors, council chairpersons, councillors, and all members of Patriotic Front at all levels will protect you, will defend you yeah. in the interest of the nation and the interest of the party. But the president will defend with everything from enemies without and enemies within. We shall not allow any schemes to undermine you and also members of parliament and other elected officials. The same way the party will not allow anyone to undermine you, you will also not be allowed to undermine the leadership of the party. I want to appeal to all loving members of Patriotic Front that meanwhile not to be carried away I know that we are almost entering into a political period where our enemy, the UPND, will get very desperate and aggressive to create unnecessary political theories among our members in order to distract us from the bigger picture and many goals of forming government in 2026. Let us remain united. We, are all, we, we only have one agenda to answer, the core of the Zambian people to form government in 2026. That call is loud and clear. Even the faces of the journalists who have come here, you can tell they are saying, please, up the game, we are waiting for you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I can tell you, it only takes, it only takes discipline and unity. It's a united force of patriotic front and others that we work with that will guarantee victory in 2026. We shall then not undermine the golden opportunity to form government and prove the Zambian people that we are not paying attention to them. Instead, we will prove that we have listened to what they have called us to do and be able to answer to their cry to remove UPND. And we are going to continue on the trajectory of development. Those who want to repeat in our face that no, there are atrocities and whatever that uh, caused us to be voted out. If the entire former president can stand two years ago and said to the Zambian people, if there's anything we did as PF or I did as a president, I am sorry. You, our friends, are the ones who are having difficult to forgive us. When the Zambians are forgiven us, what is the problem? <laughs> so let us not lose sight of this patriotic front. It is every member's duty to stay focused on the higher picture and bigger picture. However, all this requires intra-party discipline and mutual respect. And when I say mutual respect, measure what you say to one another. None of us has the embodiment and absolute authority to know what needs to be done. It can only take collective you know, cross-breeding of ideas and how we are going to manage ourselves in terms of inter interrelations that will guarantee us winning elections in 2026. I thank you and may God bless you. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.